Hello, booze. Oh, what a day. Or what a morning. <laughs> I'm up pretty early today. I'm just trying to get things done for us. It is not even 7 o'clock. And, you know, the only way to battle this Mercury retrograde is by getting ahead of it, okay? So the lighting may be a little off here for me as the sun is still, you know, rising. Okay? So... I think I'm going to use this deck today. Ooh, death and transformation at the bottom of the deck already. So let's see. Let's get right into it. Let's see what the message here is today for Friday, May 13th, as we head into our first weekend with Mercury Retrograde. And we are still in the heaviness of the Eclipse portal. Um, we do have a full moon lunar eclipse also coming up. Uh, on May 16th. So we are three days away from it. Usually a couple of days before and a couple of days after is when you really feel the heaviness of any sort of lunation that we're experiencing. So I'd say that starting today or tomorrow, don't be surprised if you're greeted with a little bit of the heaviness of the Scorpio full moon, okay? Which is also a lunar eclipse. Now with this at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing that, oh, that made itself apparent, the Six of Wands. With Scorpio energy is already in the mix. So I have a feeling that we're all going to be under the impact, under the encouragement of this Scorpio full moon, okay? And it's going to be encouraging us to move forward or at least identify what's required to keep us on the journey forward, okay? So let's see what the messages are. I might be posting a little less right now. You know, usually, you know me, I just, when the messages come through, I just hit him out with a reel or a post, but I've really felt the need to just pull back just a little to preserve my energy because there's so many things happening at work, lots of personal engagements, and my time is being demanded and required all over the place. So I'm just trying to manage. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the messages are for today, Friday, May 13th, going into the weekend. Um, you know me, I don't normally do weekend readings, but I'm going to do one this weekend as well. And I'm going to do a regular love and light message too. Um, just with the heaviness of all these portals and all the energies, I think extra messages will help us, okay? So what's the message that we need to know today? and chunks of cards coming out. So I know that there's clearly a message here for us. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Wands. Chariot. Knight of Cups. Aha. You know me, I'm not always trying to channel a message of love. But this could be pertain to love, but I'm seeing there's a message of opportunity here, okay? With the Knight of Cups in this particular deck is, you know, as much as I can, okay, let me explain something to you on how I interpret the card sometimes. The Knight of Cups obviously is a certain type of energy, a certain type of message that's quite consistent with all the decks, but as we head into different variations of the tarot deck, sometimes they house additional messages. Okay, if you heard that notification, I know I'm justified in saying this too, the universe supports me. But what's that notification was going on in the background? But with the Knight of Cups here, in specific for this deck, the Light Seer's Tarot, this is a romantic offer, okay? This person's holding roses. This person has a love letter. So there's like some level of communication coming here. Also, in the regular Rider Waite Tarot, the Knight is usually on the horse, implying that they're in motion. In this case, the Knight is off the horse. They've made their place. They're, they've journeyed toward you. Does that make sense? Okay. I'll get more clarification on how this goes through. But 
it seems to me that they've journeyed towards you. They've made a choice. They know where they're stopping. They're not on the go, necessarily. Okay? So I wanted to clarify that. So it seems to me that opportunity, romantic opportunities or romantic offers are definitely around the corner. Now, it is retrograde, so you know, sometimes people from the past do show up. It is eclipse season, so you're probably thinking about someone, someone who you've been connected to in the past, who you've probably had some sort of a situationship with here. I'm seeing that things may have ended just as fast as they started with somebody from the past year, okay? Because we've got Four of Pentacles, which to me is physical withdrawal, but we've got the Page of Wands, which tells me that things might start up again quite quickly. Well, yes, very quickly, because we've got the Chariot here, okay? You seem to be in a place of stability and non-action. And the person you're dealing with seems to be in a place of only action. So let's sort of clarify. This is the movement coming towards us, okay? I know that I'm doing this, like, on Friday and potentially for the weekend. Look, I'm kind of cups. So, like, I'm kind of being told that, yes, there is a happy ending here. But let's clarify your energy with the Four of Pentacles. And then I'll clarify this person's energy later with the Page of Wands. So please clarify the Four of Pentacles for me. that card finds me this was coming out with it so i'll take it so to clarify the four of pentacles i am getting strength i'm getting queen of pentacles i mean this card always reminds me of the queen of pentacles by the way and i am getting two of cups wow <laughs> i knew this card was going to come out so You know, the Four of Pentacles normally could be a very stubborn energy to me, one of resistance. But in this case, it is stability. It is somebody who knows what is theirs and is holding their value and their self-worth very close. It could have been that you've tried, you've loved and lost in love, that you have overgiven and, you know, your sense of worth and your identity and your own power and self-love is always coming into question. Like, you may have struggled with this in the past, okay? But I'm seeing that, let me see if I can get this light on here. Okay, that helps. I'm seeing that you're withdrawn from pursuing relationships because now you're going to let them come to you. There's a confidence here. You're growing into your Queen of Pentacles energy. You're going from Four of Pentacles to Queen of Pentacles and eventually you'll hit the Empress, right? And we're still in Taurus season. So I'm seeing that you're, you're choosing to allow things to journey towards you rather than chasing for them. It could have been that out of insecurity, out of wounding, you may have been chasing love. Okay. Throughout this withdrawal, you're gaining your inner strength. You're managing the duality of life. You're managing your, your head and your heart. Your masculine and your feminine. Your inner and outer world. And then things are coming into a beautiful balance here. Like union is guaranteed for you. Okay, so then this brings me to this person here. So Page of Wands, let's clarify their energy. You know me, I'm a very proud gay man here. So with the rainbows here, I'm also seeing that this could be a same-sex um, couple as well, which is beautiful. Okay, I like that. Knight of Swords. So definitely in movement. I mean, even this page, it's like flying up in the air. And it's almost like I see this as a magician's wand. Five of Swords, Justice. Okay. 
oh, I don't always like talking talking about timestamps, but it's coming to me. I'm seeing by October, Libra season, this person finds balance between their inner and outer world, okay? It could be such that they have made their energetic choice. I had told you that this knight has sort of come off the horse and they're now here waiting for you to accept an offer. As you can see, this person's just waiting, looking at you with their dreamy eyes, just hoping for you to accept what it is that they're giving to you, you know? which is beautiful. I like it. But I'm seeing that it takes time. You know, all because I'm channeling this message right now doesn't mean somebody's off their horse waiting. This person is still moving towards their authenticity. It's like energetically, they know. Consciously, it's probably occurring to them. And so when the energies are manifesting within them, it's probably their life sign synchronicities that are constantly showing them that you are are the one now how they're absorbing it i mean they're a little resistant to absorbing it they could be trying to you know resist you being the one okay i'm seeing why are they resisting you being the one because you bring in balance you know there's something about this person's energy that's quite childlike you know probably there's a lot of immaturity here there's a lack of confidence here there's insecurity here and there's a lack of mature communication and understanding around things in life okay so they could have been very stunted from their upbringing and the manner in which they were raised. There could be some very strong mother and father wounds, okay? The thing is, this person's always desired to be better. The Page of Wands would have never been here. This is a card of inspiration. This person does want more for their life. <clears throat> I'm also seeing that this person can be just 100% inconsistent in relationships. Not that they don't want love. And not that they're, and they are, yes, inconsistent in the sense that giving and receiving love is difficult for them, 100%. But they want love. They do desire it. But I think they keep putting themselves in situations that they know aren't going to be successful, okay? It could be somebody hiding their sexuality, okay? So if somebody is, um, <clears throat> my throat is getting caught up here for a second. If somebody is, um, you know, in the closet, so to speak. Um, not being open about their sexuality, where they're really attracted to one gender, but they're constantly running after another for social acceptance, parental acceptance, okay? that I give that example to you because that's what's coming to my mind right now, but that sort of tells you that how much this person's hiding. It could be that they like women, but they keep running to men, you know, because that's what's going to give them children. That's what's going to give them the family that their family wants them to have. It's almost like they've been living their life for others, but their heart desires women. Same thing. It could be a guy who finds a resonance in the beauty in male energy. But he keeps running after women. Having intimacy issues. Not being able to explore steady relationships. Because he keeps putting himself in a situation where he knows a relationship won't be successful. But he's trying to meet societal norms. Okay? So you have made peace with the fact that you don't fit the mold. And you're okay with it. So you're balancing, you know others expectations and what you know you want for yourself and by becoming strongly acquainted with your inner world you don't give a crap about the outer world right <clears throat> <coughs> this person is still in the process of transmuting that so there is inspiration here there is hope here there is desire here they want love they have probably been looking in the wrong place so i know that i used sexuality as an example but this could be even the same in heterosexual relationships or whatever relationship it is that you're exploring, right? That somebody's not being authentic, okay? The Knight of Swords to me is somebody racing towards their authenticity and wanting to get there really fast. So the desire is there. The hope is there. It does stress them out because they're constantly reminded that of you and that you're the one. I feel like this person, if they're exploring other connections or trying to make it work with other people, the universe is reminding them that you are the one bringing them towards their authenticity. So whatever it was that you brought to the surface for this person, they're trying to suppress and oppress. The universe is not allowing it, okay? So they're kind of ticked off about it. But they're coming into balance because I think they're now in this energy of understanding, okay? So while the outcome is a little convoluted here, it's not being super clear to me because we know there's offers and opportunities coming in love, okay? This person is being told that you hold a key to some answers, Okay, now this person may come to you selfishly to learn these answers so they can keep moving forward or this person realizes and I feel that this is with the certain energies that I'm getting here. I'm not getting deception here at all. I'm seeing that this person is realizing that you always were meant to play a part in their life, that the situations, occurrences, conversations of the past were actually all helping this person move in the right direction. They are just 
starting to understand it now. Okay? That is bringing them into balance. See, you know, our light self and our dark self are always parts of who we are. Okay? So this person is now starting to understand that they need to do this work actively if they're going to have love in their life, period. Okay? Anything else I need to know about this person? The eclipse energies and the retrograde energies seem to be the most active here. I think in this period, you're withdrawing and just allowing things to occur, you know, because you kind of understand and you're sort of so spiritually aware and evolved at this point that you know that in these type of energies, you're not meant to be super active. This person is being triggered into action, okay? The action right now could be thinking in a certain way, feeling in a certain way, starting to acknowledge and understand, okay? Any more insight here for this person? Eight of Cups judgment <laughs> okay so they're the ones going through a rebirth here they're the ones who are going to be heavily impacted by this full moon lunar eclipse in scorpio i mean hello these are heavy cards though the eight of cups here is a card of inspiration and movement towards what brings passion and love and prosperity okay in this card in specifically i mean in the regular tarot weight the writer writer weight tarot the person is kind of solemn and kind of gloomy, walking away, showing regret. This person is happily leaving behind things that were that they used to burn for. And now they're moving towards the sun. It's like, okay, I know I've invested my time here. It's not working for me. I'm learning the lessons. Now I'm choosing to leave this behind. And I'm going to take a risk and journey towards the light. Because the universe is constantly guiding me. Bringing inspiration to me. And I've not been taking this guidance. And I think it's time that I do. That's the kind of journey I see with this Eight of Cups. So it seems to me that this person is starting to embrace the journey of rebirth. Okay? Now, normally this is a card of transformation, but here in the Rider Waite Tarot, I'm not in the Rider Waite, the Light Seer's Tarot here, it's death and rebirth. And then this is a card of birth, of rebirth, reawakenings. So this person's. Let me get some. This person is starting to understand what they need to walk away from. I just want more clarity onto exactly what this death and rebirth process is bringing. Oh, okay. There's a sun that they're working towards. The eight of pentacles, knight of pentacles. So this is Leo eight, lion's gate again to me. So it seems to me that the height of their transformation may come about during Leo season. Again, lion's gate is when the largest star in the sky, Sirius, and the earth and the sun all line up. So... In one straight line so there's an incredible amount of light shed onto um the universe the galaxy earth so the amount of clarity that we'll get around that time is pretty big and there's a very triggering and a very powerful full moon in aquarius around that time too so this person is now being triggered into doing the work it's a healthy trigger their process towards this might be slow so i mean slow according to your standards i do have to say that okay according to their standards they're taking steady and stable steps towards their abundance and there could be a lot of crap happening in their life that they kind of need to deal with right according to your standards you're moving a little slowly but you have to keep your expectations in check so it seems to me with this full moon lunar, lunar eclipse someone is transforming they're they know what they want need to walk away from and now they're embracing okay embracing the light the opportunity to move forward they have more clarity on how it is that they need to move forward they could have been trying to move forward in the past but maybe more so with their ego than their heart. This seems to be very heart-led action here. Again, it's an energy, so it's happening slowly, okay? So that's where I'm going to end it. I'm not going to channel the messages here of the offers and opportunities coming. I know many of you are going to want this. I truly believe we need to let the Eclipse portal and the retrograde energies find some sort of balance again. And then we can get some energies into what can happen here in this particular story, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I read the comments as much as I can. And I try to reply back whenever I get an opportunity. And please do donate and support the channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. Thank you.